Welcome back. We are here with Andrew Forster, who is the new Visit Madison director. Yes. So how's it going? It's going great. I've been on the job for, gosh, a little more than a month now, and it's it's a lot of fun. There's so much good that's going on in, in Madison and in Jefferson County. It's exciting to be a part of it and be a part of marketing it so that people know to come here to Madison and, and enjoy all that we have to offer. Oh, that is great. Now you have you have a vision for Visit Madison. What is that? Yeah, well, I, I want to see us provide the best visitor experience possible. And and so that's through a, a lot of what we do even before guests come, and that's making sure that our our infrastructure is, is good and working with the city, making sure that things are welcoming. So whether that's flowers and banners and, and uh, all of the, the infrastructure that uh, tourists need, wayfinding signs, I know that's something that I'm excited to work with the city on making sure our visitors can get around in the community. Um, but then while they're here, making sure they have a really excellent experience, whether it's at our hotels, in our restaurants. Uh, so I'd like to do some more hospitality training. That was something that we used to do in the past. And so I, I'd love to try to bring that back. And then when we have special groups that come to town, we just had a, a group of uh, Airstream enthusiasts that came and stayed uh, in the community over the weekend and trying to provide that personal touch to make sure that, that they have an excellent experience. So it's putting together a, a tour for them. They got to go to Dr. Hutchings' office, uh, visit Madison property, and then they got to enjoy some other sites around the community. But it's it's us putting those uh, kinds of tours together for them and then um, trying to provide a little something extra. So not just giving them a visitor guide and saying, well, good luck, have fun finding what you right. want to do. Um, I'd like to put together little goodie bags for them, uh, highlighting our local businesses and things like that. So we're, we're trying to do more of that. Some of that's going to take a little bit of time, like the training, but uh, it, it's some of that just taking, taking what we're doing for visitors to the next level and making sure that uh, it's a, people walk away wowed uh, when they come to Madison. It's more like, more like treating them like a guest in your home. That's right. When you have company, so you know an old college friend comes to visit, you spruce things up and you have little special things for them, so it, it gives them more personal. That's right. And everybody stayed in, in a hotel or in an Airbnb where they go the extra mile to, and it may be something very small, it may be a, a bag of microwave popcorn on the but on the counter. That means a lot. It means a lot. And it, it's it's the people go, wow, they've, they've done something to, to go the extra mile. So really trying to, to up uh, you know, really raise that um, visitor experience, especially for groups that come here. Right. Um, but then we, we do stuff every day that I think a lot of people maybe don't don't know about. Um, and so we serve as the um, Convention and Visitors Bureau, um, and we receive a, a, quite a bit of the innkeeper's tax uh, for that. And so our goal every day is to promote and market Madison. And uh, that can be in the form of the visitor's guides that we put out every year. Uh, we do tens and tens of thousands of those. They get mailed out. They get uh, included in uh, visitors' bra uh, visitor brochure guide racks all around the state, along the interstates and the rest stops. Uh, we mail them out uh, by the thousands all the time to people that want to come. So we put those together. We coordinate group tours for uh, like the steamboats when they come to town, which is really exciting. Anytime we can have them on right. on the shore, but we coordinate their stops. Um, and we do promotion and marketing of all of the different events that are here in the community, uh, whether it's the big one like Chautauqua that we're getting ready for, uh, or it's the Canaan Fall Festival, or uh, you know something something a little bit smaller, a car show. Um, and we we provide marketing for those on social media, in ads, um, in in different magazines all around the country. And so there's a lot. There's a lot to it that maybe people don't realize. And, and I think that's a big thing they don't realize mm -hmm. is how they can partner with Visit Madison. And it, it's not that you choose which event to market with. Yep. They actually come to you. Yeah. So they need to understand a little more about how do you partner with Visit Madison to make their event more successful. Yeah. Well, first of all, we, we have to know about it. And so, you know, if you're, if you're hosting an event, an activity, something like that, we need you to go to visitmadison.org and, and add it in, send it to us so that we can put it in our community calendar uh -huh. uh, because we, we really we want to have that information and unless we have it, it's hard for us to market it. So uh, we want to we do that, we want to get that information out. 
So be sure to send that to us. Uh, but then there's also the, the partnership. You can, you can take partnership to the next level and um, try and be a, a, a financial partner with us in our experience guide. And so that's a, a great opportunity um, to, to partner, get a little bit more information about your business out. Obviously, we want to we want to try and share um, about any event in any business that's of interest to tourists and visitors. Um, but if you would like to partner, uh, we're working on actually changing up our our, um, our marketing partnerships right now, which I think is what we're going to call it. And so it, it, it's important to for us to partner with businesses and events, right. um, and and try and try and make sure they can utilize all of the thousands of people that are on our Facebook page, and we have thousands of people on an email subscription uh, newsletter. And so utilizing some of that to help market businesses and events, it's really about a partnership between us and a, a business and event and trying to spread the word about what's going on here. And, that, and that's just them calling you and saying, I'm having this event, what can you do to help me market this event? And then you can fill them in on that. Yeah, so. and there's, there's things that, number one, we can just do Obviously, putting it on our website if it's an event. That's, yes, that's something calendar. for free that we do, and that, that's important that, that we get that out to everybody and that you get that to us so we can share it. And then there's there's a little bit higher levels that we're going to be working on where there's there's some financial partnership uh, that, that businesses and events can take advantage of all of our, our marketing knowledge. Sarah in our office is amazing at marketing, and so uh, she has a, a lot of connections there and right. with TV stations and, and newspapers and magazines and so she's she's got those connections we can partner on some of those and do some some ads use some of our buying power um, and then there's there's the you know lots of different tiers of, of ways that we can partner together um, that, that maybe there's a little extra financial cost to the business or event but I think it's going to pay off uh, we'd be happy to walk through that with everybody I think I think it would be worth them at least calling. It's it's and, worth a call, know, yes. To find out what the opportunities are there, because some yeah. people don't even know there's an opportunity there. So. That's right. It's it's worth the call. And I think the other thing that maybe we don't talk about as as much um, is the events. And we have we have three major events housed within Visit Madison Incorporated. Um, and so you've got Riverfest, you've got Chautauqua, and you've got Nights Before Christmas. Right. And a lot of people don't realize that those three events are housed within Visit Madison mm -hmm. and we help put those on every single year. And, and that brings us to the fact that you need volunteers for some of the things that you all do. That's that's right. Uh, we need lots of volunteers, especially Nights Before Christmas, uh, Chautauqua, um, and, and Riverfest. And those events can't go on without volunteers. And so that's my, that's my plea to everybody. Uh, those events just, they, they need people to, mm -hmm. to happen. And so uh, right now, Riverfest has an awesome committee. Chautauqua has an awesome committee as far as people that dedicate hours and hours and they yeah. take vacation days and they, they come and work at the festival. But those events can't happen without volunteers. And so we know we need them. If, if anybody, anybody watching is interested, uh, we'd love to have you volunteer for one of our events. Uh, because we can find a, a job that you might really enjoy, uh, whether it's, it's just greeting guests or maybe it's doing some of the tough stuff, taking up a stage and tearing it down or something like that. There's, there's a lot of things to do and volunteers are the backbone of the events and we need to keep those going strong. That, that is the biggest thing to me because if there's no volunteers, there's no event. That's right, that's right. But now there are some events coming up like we're, we're we're trying to get ahead of the events, but this this time we're going to have to talk about something coming up rather quickly. So you've got yeah. some things coming up this weekend. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll be back in a, in a few months to talk about like nights before Christmas and, and some of that. But this weekend coming up, we have the Madison Chautauqua, which is, uh, as everybody knows, kind of the the granddaddy of, of them all as far as uh, the the amount of people that it brings into the community, um, the the dollars spent on Main Street and our restaurants and. Our hotels are packed and it, it's it's wonderful and so uh, we're excited about that happening this weekend we also have the Madison Indiana Rodeo which is the first year for it it's really exciting brand new event um, that one is not housed within Visit Madison but it is uh, another amazing event that we're trying to help share the word about um, because it's it's actually a huge competition um, you, you don't realize until you get into knowing that that arena um, uh, there's a there's a pun there, yes, there a rodeo is, yeah. pun there. Uh, <laughs> until you get into that arena, yeah. all that goes into that and the amount of sponsorships and money and 
and that, that this will be this shared on national TV. Yeah, um, and this is points for these cowboys. Yes, that's right. You that's know, right. It, that's that's when it becomes a major competition when they're competing for those points. To be able to get to the next, next level. Yeah. So this rodeo is not only important to us, it is very important to them. Yes. Because yes. they, they can't move on to the next level if they don't make it through this one. That's right. Yeah. So, so. It, means, it means a lot for our community to be able to host them. Um, and having them out at the fairgrounds, which is which is a great venue, yes. something that we don't get to share and showcase a lot. Um, so it's exciting that they'll be out there, and, and we get to share Madison with the world when they are on a national TV station. So uh, I think there's some people that get Direct TV and, and Dish Network, yes. and uh, that's that's a channel I know I'm I'm going to be talking to my grandpa because he has <laughs> he has Dish Network, and he want he wants to tune in and see it. So uh, so it's exciting to. Um, to, to know that we get to be on on the national stage it, it is because it, it it will present other opportunities yes not just the rodeo being the rodeo every year but the things that can stem from that yep. people wanting to come here for different things or wanting to bring an event here exactly so exactly. this could be a stepping stone for no telling what yeah yeah lots of opportunities there's still lots of weekends that we don't have full of, of events so let's uh let's get those weekends filled with more events and and uh, get even more people to come here. I think the other thing, I, as I'm talking about the, uh, the amount of people we want to try to get here, yeah. one of the goals that I have, and I'm, this is going back to the first question, yeah. um, but trying to get more people here during the week. Um, because right now, things are really, really hopping in Madison on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, even you know Thursday leading up to it. But that Monday to Thursday can be kind of slow. So working on trying to get some uh, small conferences, uh, small conventions, things like that, business meetings to use our hotels and, and bring people to our community during the week. And, and that can come in the fact that some people work those swing shifts. Yeah. And they're off on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. It, so, you know, there's, there's plenty of opportunity for that. There is. And, and there's, there's lots of business conferences that, that want to have a meeting. They come to a community for, you know, a Monday, Tuesday. And then we see a lot of retirees that say, hey, we want to come to Madison. We don't really care which day of the week they come. We want to come on a, on a Monday and Tuesday. So uh, there's lots of growth potential there. Well, that is awesome. Well, what is the main vision you have or goal you have to bump Visit Madison up to the next level? Well, I think we, we just need to focus on making sure that everybody that comes here has a great experience. And that that's going to be the, the foundation of everything I'm trying to work on. You know, I mean, some of the things that I'm, I'm already starting to work on is improving the visitor center. Uh, that's a partnership that we have with the state, and the state of Indiana is really open to, to trying to make that building shine for our visitors when they come in, trying to get the gift shop um, with a few more Madison items, because that's what people are looking for. They yeah. want those Madison uh, items, souvenirs that they can take home, so trying to get that, but at, at, the, at the foundation of making those improvements, it's what's best for the visitor experience and how do we how do we make sure that everybody has a great time here in Madison, Indiana. So um, yeah, it's it's exciting. There's there's a lot of things that we can do. My my plate is overflowing with different <laughs> ideas and I've got to remind myself, Andrew, you can only do so, so much, much at once. And uh, the staff there at Visit Madison is unbelievable, but we've got a small staff yes. and there's only so much that we can take on at one time. And so uh, we're going to take some of it on over time and um, and uh, it, I'm just excited to see where we can take things. Well, I, I think you're going to do great things in this. You you have the personality for it and the and the knowledge. It's so. uh, it's certainly uh, Madison's my passion. It has been for a long time, and so to be in this position, just really grateful to be back home and and doing what I love. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. So. Thank you. Thanks for having me today. Well, you're welcome for being here today. Now, is there anything else we need to make sure they know, or have we covered pretty much? Gosh, I think we've covered about think, everything, yeah. uh, but be thinking ahead. We've got lots of events coming up, even after we get through Chautauqua. We've got nights yeah. before Christmas. I think maybe we'll talk about that on, on an upcoming episode, but we've yeah. got Soup, Stew, Chili, and Brew coming up in mm -hmm. October. The Chamber of Commerce puts that on, but again, we try to spread the word right. about it and get people here. Yeah. So, yeah, lots lots to come in Madison, Indiana. Well, I'm really glad you came in, and I look forward to you coming in again. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you. 
Well, now you know Andrew Forster is the new Visit Madison director. So if you have any questions or you have an event you want to share with him or find out how they can help you with it, just give him a call. And that number would be, Andrew? It's 812-265-2956. All right. Well, we thank you for watching, and we greatly appreciate our sponsors for making all this possible.